Hello everybody, I'm Dadia Falessi, the multimedia editor of Aribroy Software. Today I have the pleasure to introduce the January-February special issue on software engineering for internet computing, internet and beyond. And today we have three guest editors introducing the issues, which are Tao Xie, who is an associate professor of computer science, University of Illinois at uh, Urbana-Champaign, USA. Hong Mei, who is professor of computer science and technology, Peking University. And last but not least, Antonio Bertolino, who is research director of CNR, which is the Italian National Research Council in Software Engineering and Dependable Computing Research Laboratory, Italy. So welcome everybody and let's start with the first question. So what is software engineering for internet computing? How would you define it? So let's start with Tao. Tao, what is software engineering for internet computing? According to IEEE standards, software engineering is about the application of a systematic, disciplined, quantifiable approach to the development, operation, and maintenance of software. Therefore, Software engineering for internet computing is about software engineering for internet-based software or software for internet. You may be wondering, what is so special about such software? Let me elaborate a few examples of its characteristics. The internet has become the platform of choice for delivering software as services in service computing. As you can see, Traditional string-wrapped software, such as those desktop software packages, has been increasingly migrated to be online services. Some examples are Microsoft's Office 365 and Google's Google Docs. Developing, operating, and maintaining such online services call for new software engineering methodologies, techniques, and tools. In addition, the Internet has also become the platform of choice for distributing software as apps via various app stores, not only to mobile device users, but also to desktop users. Such software distribution has substantially lowered the barriers to market entry for software developers and substantially increased the variety and diversity of software that supplies the same or similar functionality. We have seen many cases where even teenagers release popular mobile apps via app stores. Such situation was not imaginable in the old days of soon wrapped software. In the age of internet computing, a variety of software emerged such as software for cloud computing, service computing, social computing, mobile internet, internet of things, and cyber physical systems. Software engineering research and practice are of great importance to software development productivity and software quality for such software, being the focus of software engineering for internet computing. May, do you want to add anything? Interware is a coin the word. We invented this word to denote the new software pattern for internet computing. In computer science, software pattern or program pattern is referred to the software model and its construction theory from the perspective of software engineers or programmers. A software paradigm defines what is to be constructed and executed. How to construct or develop this kind of software artifacts or entity with high quality and productivity. How to support the execution of software artifacts or entities. And how to measure the resulted software and its execution. During computing history, several paradigms appeared, like structured paradigm, object-oriented paradigm, component-based paradigm, and service-oriented paradigm. In the past decades, the internet has been evolving to be a global ubiquitous computer. The internet not only consists of a huge and 
ever grow in number of diverse computing devices, but also service as a platform with much more powerful support for problem solving. Due to its open, dynamic, consistently changing nature, the internet computing environment exhibits characteristics that call for new software development technologies. Several big challenges need to be addressed. Software system running on the internet must be autonomous, cooperative, situational, evaluable, imagine and trustworthy. We believe these big challenges are fundamental and the new software paradigms are required to catch the new features of software on the internet. Internetware is a software paradigm for internet computing, where software is architected as the internet, developed with the internet, executed on the internet, and provided as service via internet. Sometimes, internetware is also used to denote such kind of software itself. In essence, internetware is constructed by a set of autonomic software entity distributed over the internet, and a set of connectors enabling the collaboration among these entities in various manners. Software entities can come and go autonomously, and the connections from one protocol could be switched to another dynamically. Accordingly, the engineering of interware is a reuse-based way. The development of interware can be seen as the composition of various disordered resources into ordered software system. As the time elapses, changes of resource and the environment may disorder the existing software system again. The iterative transformation between ordered and disordered entity implies a bottom-up, inside-out, and spiral development process. Okay, now that we know what software engineering for internet computing is, Let's ask the second question. Why is this topic interesting? Antonia, what do you think? Internet wear is increasingly pervasive. I would say that every aspect of modern society, work, uh, welfare, security, etc., uh, nowadays is affected by the progress uh, in the technology that is underneath internet wear. So if we consider in particular software engineering aspect, uh, my vision is like if internet wear embraces all the many topics, challenges, uh, techniques uh, that um, belong to software engineering under a common overarching objective that is uh, providing the means to allow everyone to stay connected to what is the global information and uh, as well allow them to use all the many offered services by any device and in secure way. Therefore, the topic of this special issue is specifically is very interesting nowadays because it covers all the important, interesting aspects of software engineering. The next question for Antonia is why do researchers need, or practitioners need, to be aware of what's going on regarding this topic? Well, for sure readers of IEEE software want to stay up to date or even anticipate what are the latest technology trends in software engineering. Therefore, they need to be informed about the rapid evolution of research in the topics that are covered by this issue and uh, about the great opportunity and many perspectives that are opened uh, for future research and uh, innovation. The research in Internet Aware, as the article in the issue shows us, is very active and is varied 
and at any moment uh, we could um, assist to the rise of the next big breakthrough in the information technology. So I would tell readers to stay aware and follow what is going on in Internet Wear. Okay, the next question is, what have been accomplished in Internet Wear? May, what do you think? In China, we started Internet Wear research from 2000s. More than 80 research from several well-known universities and institutes, like Peking University, Nanjing University, were involved in interwear research. In the past decades, the Chinese National Basic Research Program has funded two consecutive projects to support the development of interwear. After over 10 years of research and practice, we have established an architecture-centric technical framework for interwear paradigm, covering the major aspects of a software paradigm, such as the interwear software model, long-term supporting infrastructure framework for interwear, interwear engineering approach, and related tools and IDE, and also the quality measurements of interwear. The last question is for May, and it is, what is the future of Internet Wear? For the future of Internet Wear, one aspect is that this paradigm needs to evolve and copy with the complex software-defined cyberspace resulting from the Internet of Anything. Another aspect is the development of related technologies, for example, the Internet Wear long-term infrastructure must leverage resource virtualization and the dynamic screening to accommodate cloud computing and support situational collaboration and adaptation among diverse mobile devices. The Internet Wear engineering needs to focus on open source-based ecosystem and leverage big data analysis to improve software development quality and productivity. I think we still have a long way to go. Okay, so thank you very much Tauxie, Hongmei and Antonio Bertolino for presenting and introducing the uh, upcoming January and February special issue on software engineering for internet computing, internet and beyond. I'm uh, very looking forward to read it. Bye-bye.